Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, ye which are spiritual, restore such and one in the spirit of meekness. Somebody trespasses against you or upsets you, forgive them quickly, okay? And it says, which are spiritual. Now, th those of us who are spiritual is what this word is saying. Somebody that's got a really good, solid walk with God, they love the Lord, they serve Him, they get up each and every day and try to do what's right. Now, when I say somebody that's spiritual, and uh, that you, you know, we're all going to sin and we're all going to fall short. But this is about you making the effort to spend time with God, making an effort to spend time in Him with prayer, taking the time to spend time with this Holy Word. So if that's you today, this word is saying, brethren, if a man be overtaken and fall, in other words, somebody that has fell short, somebody that has fallen down, somebody that is making a bad mistake in their life, uh, they that are spiritual restore such one in the spirit of meekness. You do it in humbleness. You're not doing it because you think you're better than them. You're not all puffed up and thinking you're so much better than them looking down on them. That's not what that word said. It said in meekness. You do it out of love and you do it humbly because you love them. And when and when you do that, you would be amazed. They know it. They, they know that you are doing it because you love them. Not because you think you're better than them. Not because your sin is any less than theirs. But because we love them. And it says, Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. So why is it saying consider ourselves? Well, there we go with some self-examination that we need to do sometimes in our own life. Um, and also consider that the fact, what mistakes have you made? What have you done? What have you done bad? What have you done that made some horrible mistakes in your life today? What have you done today 